Stoventec Glass System Installation. The Stoventec system utilizes Sto Air Seal, part of the Sto Guard family of air and moisture barrier products. Sto Air Seal is a fluid applied air and moisture barrier that can be applied by spray or roller to a variety of substrates to create a continuous, seamless, waterproof air and moisture barrier beneath the Sto Ventec rain screen system. The StoGuard assembly is applied in two steps allowing time to cure in between. First, the air barrier components are applied to the substrate by treating the sheathing joints, rough openings, penetrations, and transitions using the variety of interchangeable StoGuard joint treatments. Then, Sto Air Seal is applied either by spray or roller. StoGuard products are fully adhered to the substrate, creating a tough, seamless, and continuous air and moisture barrier. For further information, refer to the spec and product bulletin. Once the air and moisture barrier is installed, the Sto Ventro sub construction can now be installed. Sto Ventro Rain Screen Systems Sub Construction Installation. After installing Sto Air Seal Air and Moisture Barrier, Sto Ventral wall brackets and T profiles are then installed. Stainless steel wall brackets, aluminum brackets with thermal isolators, and other optional brackets are available. For this installation, we're using large stainless steel brackets attached to a steel stud framed wall. Brackets come in two sizes, the larger FP wall bracket and the smaller GP wall bracket. Using the elevation benchmark and project specific drawings, mark the installation locations of the wall brackets and vertical T profiles on the substrate and fasten the brackets to the substrate using project specific screws, verifying the brackets are plumb. Install a stow starter track at the base of the installation and fasten the starter tracks at a spacing of 12 inches on center. Place a dab of specified adhesive at locations pre-marked to receive impaling pins. Fasten impaling pins by pressing them into the wet adhesive and spreading the adhesive with a spatula. Once the sub-construction brackets are installed and the adhesive is fully cured, slit the insulation at bracket locations using an insulation knife and install the insulation, securing it with insulation washers. Next, score the insulation at vertical T-profile locations. Trim the T-profiles to length using a chop saw and deburr the cut edges. Align the T-profiles to the reference line and fasten into the slots in the brackets. Using a spirit level or laser level, align the exterior axes fastened to the brackets using Stoventro sub-construction screws per project-specific drawings. For fixed point fastening, use the circular holes. When sliding point fastening is required to allow for thermal movement, use the oblong holes in the large and small brackets. Leave a 10 millimeter gap in any joints in T-profiles. Install the first and last T-profiles on each facade plane and using a horizontal reference line, align the remaining profiles between. Once properly aligned, fasten all remaining profiles to brackets. Note that insulation can also be installed vertically. Maintain a five millimeter gap between the starter track and the T profiles. Stoventec Glass Installation. After the installation of air and moisture barrier, sub-construction and insulation, Determine locations and lengths for a graph profiles according to the project-specific drawings. Use a chop saw to cut a graph profiles. Deburr all cut edges. Horizontal a graph profiles are fastened to the T profiles using Stoventro sub-construction screws, using a minimum of two screws per connection. Mark the whole locations as shown on the project-specific drawings. Ream or punch slotted oblong holes and drill round holes at the marked locations as required. Locate and mark profile locations using a level and clamp the profile in place. 
fasten profile by installing a Stowe Ventro sub-construction screw at one end. Check level and fasten at the other end and then install all screws, placing the screws in the center of oblong holes. Joints between adjacent profiles should be between 3 8 and 9 16 inch. Blacken the sub-construction and insulation at panel joint locations. At the ground level, windows, balconies, patios, ceilings, and roof surfaces, a ventilation profile may be used to prevent pests and debris buildup within the ventilation cavity. Prior to glass installation, clean the agraph profiles and remove borings. On both sides of the panels, screw stove ventro adjustment screws into the panel profile. Set the screw flush for maximum engagement. Using suction cups for lifting, install glass panels onto the agraph profiles. Align panels horizontally according to project specific drawings. Level panels vertically using adjustment screws. Fasten the panel on one end and level. And complete fastening per project specific drawings. See design guide for other fastening options. At adjacent panels, spacers or shims should be used to ensure uniform joints between the panels. At external corners, the agraph profiles are connected with L profiles and the panels extend to meet the corner as shown. See the design guide for all edge type conditions. At window sills, install metal flashing with a minimum 9 16 inch ventilation gap between sill flashing and glass panel. At window jams, install jam trim with a maximum 1 half inch ventilation gap between the jam trim and the glass panel. Alternatively, a glass panel can be used at the jams. At window heads, install metal flashing with a maximum one half inch ventilation gap between the head flashing and the glass panel. At grade, provide a minimum of six inches to the glass panel assembly. At the top of the system, provide a minimum one half inch ventilation joint between parapet cap or ceiling and glass panel. Visit our website to learn more about the Stowe Ventec system.